。大家好，呃、我係、呃、City Smart 誒、呃、誠信教育 Irene、呃。今日好高興啦，我喺、呃、澳洲、呃、QUT。誒、uh, Calvin Grove 呢個 campus、uh, Faculty of Health， 咁我今日亦都好高興咧，可以請得到咧 Associate Professor Katrina Smith， 咁佢咧就、uh, 今日會講誒、uh, 一啲關於、uh, Bachelor of Vision Science 同埋 Master of Optometry， 咁呢個 course 咧就係好誒受歡迎嘅， uh, Good morning,、uh, Katrina. Good morning. Thank you. It's、yeah. so lovely to be here to yeah, chat nice to, you to you today about our optometry program at QUT. Yeah,、uh, Katrina,、um, what are the distinctive feature of this program? Because、uh, not too many students are familiar with this program. So optometry in Australia is a very well organised and regulated profession. So you could think about us as being the primary eye care providers. You know, the person that you should go to see、um, if you've got anything wrong with your eyes that you're not sure about. So you know, like the general medical practitioner that you would、mm -hmm. see for everything else,、okay. you would see us for all your primary eye care problems. Okay. Uh, is there any、uh, placement embedded in this program? So,、um, so our program, as you already、um, mentioned, is、mm -hmm. consists of the Bachelor of Vision Science, which is、mm -hmm. three years, and then our two year Masters of Optometry. And part of that program is getting students all the clinical and diagnostic skills that they need to be successful optometrists. So first of all, they learn all those skills, the hands-on techniques in our、okay. um, bachelor's degree, and then in the master's program, they first of all do a whole year in our own facility, our optometry clinic, with state-of-the-art equipment right here on the QUT campus.、Oh, so they、cool. learn how to do the eye exams,、mm. and then for a really broad clinical experience, they go. Out on placements within、um, community practices and hospitals,、um, so that's in the last year of their master's program where the placements are. Okay, will students need to uh, organise uh, the placement, or QUT will organise for them? Our QUT organises the placements. We have a dedicated team called the Work, work Integrated Learning、okay. um, um, Support Team, which actually organises those placements. So, if a student though has a particular place that they、mm. want to go. Go to because they've got a particular optometric、yep. interest, and then、yep. of course they can suggest a place that they'd like to go.、Okay. Um, but they do not need to organise the placements themselves. The team helps them to do all of that. So, which means the placement is guaranteed.、Uh, is that correct?、Yes. Students will be able to get placements. <laughs> yes, all, <laughs> all students get their placements and complete placements.、Yeah. Uh, with the placement, do they need to sit for selection interviews or any specific requirement for them, like to to be yeah, placed? Not within、um, the optometry programs. There's、okay. no selection interviews. The will teams obviously helps the students and places them,、mm -hmm. um, and there's enough placements for all students.、Okay. And also the. Providers don't require that because、mm -hmm. our students have spent a year in our clinic already,、okay. so they know that all of the students are ready to go on their placements.、Mm -hmm. So they don't need an interview to assess that. As a matter of interest, what will students do when they are in the placements?、Um, it depends on the placement. So at some placements, it's primarily observing the high level specialty、okay. care, where they'll see everything from when the patient walks in and is greeted to the case history to all the diagnosis.、Mm -hmm. Diagnostic tests、okay. and how the diagnosis is made, all the way through to the、mm. treatment plan,、okay. um, and they can only observe sometimes. But then in other placements, they actually get to do some of the testing as well.、Okay. But remember, the students have already spent a year、mm. doing、um, full eye exams in our、yep. clinic already, so it's about seeing all the other kinds of practice modes for、okay. that broader experience. Okay, and do most students? Uh, successfully complete the course, which、uh, I think potential students and parents would like to know. And what sort of academic support services is available to international students? Sure, the、um, the vast majority of our students complete our program. The, you know, all you really need is hard work, ethic, and motivation to really get through our program. 
and um, is more than achievable for all students. Okay, that we have um, special, our QT, there's special groups called the Student Success Group, and they offer mm -hmm. lots of special um, courses for all students. So there's ones on English, writing skills, study mm -hmm. habits, career planning, mm -hmm. um, and it's up to students, of course, to make the most of all of those things that are offered. Mm -hmm. We also, within optometry, have our Vision Science Peer Program. Oh, okay. So again, we have um, a group of students from each year higher than the previous year mm. being there as help and support for the students that are in the grade underneath them. Something like a mentor? Yeah, it's not directly mentoring one-to-one, mm. -one, so there's about five students from each year that run special programs mm. for our student group where all the students can zoom in or ask questions mm -hmm. without an academic staff person there to maybe make them feel put on the spot mm -hmm. or uncomfortable. Okay. So that's a really collegial way of having their questions answered in a non-threatening mm -hmm. environment. Okay. And then for international students, um, there are special programs that QT offers, but mm -hmm. we've never found that the majority of our international students need those because there is that English language requirement that mm -hmm. you mentioned at the beginning. Yeah. They all come in are very hardworking and dedicated to optometry and you know our international students do very very well maybe it is because you get the best of the best for the program. oh maybe <laughs> we, we um, don't go out of our way to making them be too different from the rest we really like them to be totally integrated with the whole group mm. and to, and the australian lifestyle and yep. things like that mm. um yeah all of the students um from overseas that we get are usually wonderful and do really well. So they should be really confident of that. The hard thing is getting a spot and meeting the entry yeah. requirements. If they've got an entry requirement to come to QUT Optometry, they can they will be assured that they'll be successful. And how about the professional recognition? What sort of professional recognition yeah, so for this program? The um, optometry course at QT, which you remember is the five years combined, mm. three years bachelor's yep. plus the two years master's of optometry, yep. is recognised by um, the Optometry Board mm. of Australia. So with APRA, you can obviously Google and look up those things. Yep. So that registration is automatic. In the last year, they become student members and oh, then they okay. become registered after they get their qualification mm. and that allows um, optometrists to work within Australia and New Zealand. Mm. So there's no more board exams or anything like that oh, okay. that students might have heard oh, about. That's good. The course, when they finish the course, they can get that registration. And the reason that is, is that all of the um, Australian courses and particularly of course QTs as well, as we go through the program, students show their um, individual competency with the material. Mm. So that does mean we have quite a lot of exams. But because they've done them all the way through the program, okay. there's no big then board exams at the mm. end. So that's the bonus of that model. Yeah, that's very good. And how about the employment rate, which is very important because the parents uh, spend a lot of support for mm. the students to come to study. So um, all of our graduates um, get jobs, mostly before um, the end of oh, last, okay. when they're in the final year. Things have slowed down a little bit with mm. COVID, of course. It's a little bit of a more unpredictable job market, mm. but there's good demand for optometrists because um, our students can practice Australia-wide. Some mm. of them go interstate, about half go to other states, half stay in Queensland yeah. um, and practice in different kinds of modes. Mm. They can also work in industry or in hospitals, private practice, so there is quite a lot of different options available for them. Mm, that's very good. I think uh, if students and parents, uh, after uh, learning like what you just mentioned and who are interested in the course, um, please uh, uh, give us some uh, inquiries and then we can give you more information. And another thing that you may want to know is about the um, requirement, the academic requirement and the English requirement. Uh, for Hong Kong DSE students, is uh, the overall uh, score, the best five subjects, is 23 uh, points or above. It's across core and category A and C uh, elective subjects, uh, which with the minimum uh, level two is the minimum accepted grade. With the with the uh, this course, there's also some specific uh, subjects prerequisite for students. Um, is chemistry for Hong Kong students? Chemistry units three and four with a C. Mathematical methods or specialist mathematics is unit three and four C. 
And with physics, also unit three, uh, with and four and C. With English, it's a little bit different from uh, most of the courses. It's a little bit higher, level five, in uh, overall English language subject. Uh, and the results uh, is within two years before you start at QT. Um, so if any uh, students and parents who is really interested in this uh, course, uh, please let us know and I, I believe that our student counsellors will be very happy to give out information and also if you have specific questions or which would some information you would like to know which we didn't mention about it today please let us know and I'm pretty sure that Katrina will be very happy to answer your questions as well is that right yes of course please just email me um, you'll provide yeah. the email address and I can answer any questions that you have okay thank we'd love you. to see you in Australia doing our program yeah. at QUT thank you bye